so happy you are back with me today. I'm Miss Robin from the Fort Smith Public Library, and I think Mr. Fred has a really fun story for us. Let's open up the surprise bag and see. Are you ready? Let's go. Our library bag has a big surprise. Now's the time to use our eyes. Untie, unwind, open wide. Show us, show us what's inside. Ready, set, go. One, two, three. Open now and let us see. Here he is. Good morning, good day, Mr. Fred. How are you? Boys and girls, can you say hi to Fred? He's so happy to see you. He's so glad that you're tuning in for this story time. What? I know, it's kind of a silly book, isn't it? It's really kind of funny. Are you ready to listen to it? Then say, see you later, alligator. Fred will go in and our book will come out. <gasps> Duck at the door. Oh, poor duck. Look at him, it's snowing. Jackie Urbanovic wrote the words and drew the pictures. So that makes her the author and the illustrator. It was published by Harper Collins and we're so glad we're getting to read it to you today. It was a quiet night until thunk, creak, and knock, knock, knock. Someone is out there, but who? Let's go ask Irene. She always knows what to do. Irene, cried Brody. Help! Someone is knocking at the door. It's the middle of the night, said Irene. Who could be knocking on our door? It's a duck. Irene brought the duck inside. My name is Max, he began. I was born in the spring and I loved it. I stayed behind when my flock flew south because I thought I'd love winter too. But it turned out to be cold and very lonely. Winter isn't so bad when you have a warm home, said Irene. At first, Max had a lot to learn. Look at the illustrations. Can you see what he had to learn? In January, he learned to use the remote control. He enjoyed Wild Kingdom and worldwide wrestling. In February, he discovered he had a flair for cooking. By March, he had made himself right at home. But by April, it was clear that Max had learned too much. There goes another Saturday night, another rerun. Rerun, I've got it memorized. Gimme, Ack. Dakota, Coco, and Jessie Bear got tired of Max's new recipes, and Brody was just tired. Someone had to talk to Max, but who?
just then, Max burst into the room yelling, Listen to the quacking! My flock has returned! I can't wait to see them! Irene, please keep my chef's hat, and Brody, you can have my rubber duckies. I will miss you all so much! After many hugs, Max left. With Max gone, life was ordinary again. The cats went back to eating plain food. No one played keep away with the remote control. And Brody didn't have to share his bed. Life was so quiet that by October, everyone was happy to hear the sound of quacking. When there was a knock at the door, everyone was hoping the same thing. <gasps> Max? 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 Max, they shouted with joy. Are you staying with us all winter, they asked. Yes, said Max, me, and my flock. Everyone looked at Irene, hoping she would say something. But all she could say was, welcome home. The end. Wasn't that a fun book? They miss Max after he left, didn't they? I wonder what they'll do with all those ducks this winter. I don't know, but I do know I love reading stories to you and I can't wait to see you next time.